Hello my dears. In the previous classes we were discussing about properties of integers. What were the properties? Closure property, commutative property, associative property and distributive property. Till now we had four subdivisions. That means closure property under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Commutative property under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Associative property under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Here for distributive property the case is little bit different. There are only two divisions. That is distributive property of multiplication over addition. And the second one is distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. These are the formulas. The, what is the formula? A into B plus C. B plus C is inside the bracket equal to A into B plus A into C. Then one more. A into B minus C equal to A into B minus A into C. These are the two formulas. Now what is our purpose is today we are going to check does the formula satisfies all the integers. That means whatever number A, B and C, whatever it may be, that means it should be an integer. Then it should satisfy this formula that we are going to check today. First one is distributive property of multiplication over addition. Formula is, see, here you can see the word multiplication and addition. So, our formula should also have the sign, multiplication and addition. So, I am going to write the formula like this. A into, so multiplication. B plus C equal to, here you can see addition. A into B plus A into C. A into B plus C equal to A into B plus A into C. Here you can see multiplication, addition. Here multiplication and addition. That's why distributive property of multiplication over addition. So now we can assign the values A, B, C. Just take any numbers from the integer set. Do you remember that basket? I am assigning A equal to 2 b equal to 4, c equal to 3. Okay, so a into b plus c, a is 2. a into b plus c is our LHS, b plus c equal to 2 into b plus c, 4 plus 3 equal to 2 into 7 equal to 14. So our LHS is 14. Now we are going to find out the RHS. That is A into B plus A into C equal to A into B. A is 2. 2 into 4 plus A into C, 2 into 3. Equal to 2 into 4, 8 plus 2 into 3, 6. Again, the answer is 40. That means LHS equal to RHS. Whatever numbers we are taking, from the integer set, it will satisfy this formula. So we can say that integer set satisfies distributive property of multiplication over addition. Okay, next one is distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Here you can see two words that are multiplication and subtraction. So, formula should also have the sign, multiplication and subtraction. So, I am going to write down the formula like this. A into B minus C. Because our operation is subtraction. 
equal to a into b minus a into c. In LHS and RHS, you can see two operations that is multiplication and subtraction. Here, two multiplication and subtraction. Next, we are going to check whether this formula is satisfying for all the integer set. So, just assign a, a equal to 2, b equal to 4 and c equal to 3. You can take any numbers from this integer set. LHS equal to a into b minus c equal to a is 2. 2 into b is 4 minus 3 equal to 2 into 1 equal to 2. RHS equal to a into b minus a into c equal to just substitute 2 into 4 minus 2 into 3 equal to 8 minus 6 that is equal to 2. Now you can see LHS equal to RHS. Whatever numbers you are taking from the integer set, this formula will be satisfied. So you can say that integer set satisfy distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt about this topic, definitely ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and support me. Signing off, Femi Bijoy from Max Ninjas.